What's up guys, good old fashioned Cola, I'm back here for some Random Crossing. Right now in Ohio, it is June 26th at 11.18am, let's get this stuff started. What the hell was that? I saw a flash across my window. That was weird. Probably a bird. Executive toy, what the hell would that be? I don't like the sound of that. Uh, so, what's going on today? I don't think anything special is happening today, I think it's just another, just another random Friday. I mean, not in Animal Crossing, nothing's, nothing is going on, but I'm going to the park at 2-ish. I don't know. My buddy hasn't told me what time we're going. It's going to be fun. I haven't been to the park in a long time. Let's see what Tom's got. Probably nothing. Once again, nothing of interest. Oh wait, that's a GameCube shirt. I'll, I'll definitely buy that. I'll rock the shit out of that. Why do I even need to try it on, dude? You know I'll rock that for the rest of the time until I find a 4 shirt. Now watch, I'll find a 4 shirt tomorrow. I guarantee it. I bet you guys any amount of bells. <laughs> I only have one ticket for June? Oh god. And the, uh, the raffle's in like 7 days. Jesus. Or it's in something, it's in 5 days. I, my math is bad. Ooh, that's the executive toy. I will definitely buy that. Everybody likes Newton's Cradle. Ah, uh, do I buy the saucer? Fuck that, no. Coffee's making me so hot. That's the one bad thing about being a coffee addict in the summer. I mean, you could drink iced, but... That's nowhere near as good. Watermelon paper? Ah, we could always use more paper. Uh, so I still have yet to go and catch a firefly in this game, at least. Have I? I swear I didn't. No, yeah. Last night I meant to, and I swear to God I'm going to do it tonight, whether I record it or not. Ugh. Ugh. Coffee burps. You guys understand? Uh, because I started watching The Office again. Everybody's rocking four, and I love it. Uh, but yeah, The Office took precedence over Fireflies again. It, it just, it's so important to me. I'm almost done with Season 8. And then Season 9 is the finale. And then, I think I'm gonna go back and finish How I Met Your Mother. I already know the ending, and I know how bad it is. Spoiler alert, it sucks really fucking badly. And they just completely almost, like, blow the series. If it wasn't so good. Like, I stopped watching in, like, I think it was, like, Season 7-ish. It was my favorite show for at one at one point, and I just stopped. Like I just dropped it, and I it wasn't like a drop. Like this fucking sucks. Dropped, but it was more of a I have ADHD and I can't stay on the same thing for a long time, <laughs> and I just kind of it fell by the wayside and I stopped watching. Even though I was still recording episodes and stuff, and it just I lost interest. I guess yeah, but it wasn't like a this is getting shitty loss of interest. It was a Oh wow, what is that? I'm gonna start doing that. Uh, low attention span. Hey Gulliver, what's up? Nah, mm, jeez, mom, just a little longer. School's not for another hour. I met him in New Leaf the other day. It was just one wafer of thin mint, but I was so full. Get up. Get up, Rock! We, we got to wrestling. They worked me into a corner, and I was trapped, with no escape. I only had one chance. I jumped over the railing into the ocean. The thing is, I don't know how to swim. I'd forgotten that. So here I am. Yeah, my shipmates are good lads, one and all. But they do like to play a little rough. Oh, sorry, I was rambling a bit, wasn't I? Uh, I guess I stayed up too late last night playing video games. I mean, fighting with my shipmates. <laughs> playing video games. He's just like me. I hope he gives us something good. I'm just a rolling stone, never knowing where I'm going. Yeah, yeah, ships and mates and socks and dry. I know, Gulliver. <laughs> Mannequin piss, we already have two of those. Gulliver, is there something that you like with P? Are you R. Kelly, Gulliver? Oh, Gulliver. I don't care what gets you off, just don't do it to me. That was a topical joke in like 
seven. <laughs> I don't know when R. Kelly got busted for that, so... Ayo! Saddle fence. That's probably nothing I want. Fill that shit up. Dora, I don't like you. <laughs> Something my Spanish teacher in my sophomore year would say. Non-scholar Gabe, I don't like you. Why, Mr. Chris? I don't know. Weirdest dude ever, but I loved him so much. He was my favorite teacher of all time. And I usually hate teachers. I don't even like Spanish. I was contemplating taking Spanish 3, because uh, I only made it up to Spanish 2. And even then, I was I was just barely getting a C at that. Uh, but I I'd contemplated taking Spanish 3, just so I could have him as a teacher again, because that was the only subject he taught. Oh, God. I love Mr. Chris. Now I'm going to spend the whole day gone. Uh, when I hang out with my friend Vince, I'm going to go, Non-Scholar Vince. I'm just going to call him Non-Scholar the entire time. Uh, what was some other good Mr. Chris quotes? Oh, he was telling us... Uh, I've already talked about Mr. Chris, uh, but I talked about him in the original series. Because that was in my sophomore year. Uh, but now we're just refreshing. If you guys haven't seen any of the videos where I talk about my old Spanish teacher... Then here you go. Uh, he was telling us about what to do when you, uh, if you visited Mexico City. Uh, he said, never take uh, the subway. Never go underground because you will be robbed. Carry a gun here, which is on the side of your hip. A big one here along your back. Pistol on your ankle. I'm literally doing the movements that he did. Oh. Uh, Baseball cap, no logo, jeans, like super cheap polo shirt, no expensive brands, don't wear, just plain old, just wear plain old like Salvation Army tennis shoes. Oh my god, no Salvation Army. Mr. Chris, where'd you get those shoes at? I got them for five cents each at the Salvation Army. Each, Mr. Chris? Yes. <laughs> they were like... A pair of Jordans from 2003. Ten cents each. Wow, Mr. Cruz, you got a deal. Yeah. I love him. What's up, Goldie? Okay, okay, I don't care. Do you like catching and collecting bugs? Well, knowing you, I'm sure you've already caught all the bugs there are to catch. Nope. Yeah, I'll bet. It's not very easy to catch them all, that's for sure. Insects are scary looking enough to begin with. And the way that ant moves, hideous. Just thinking about it sends shivers. I'll be able to ever catch a tiny ant. I forget how to get them. I think you leave turnips out. Have I caught them already? I feel like I have. Actually, I haven't. Hmm. Well, I know what I'm doing this Sunday, then. Buying an extra set of turnips to leave out. I feel like... Uh... Or no, I have to fish at night because, uh, or no, July is when I really have to fish. I don't care about you. I'm not doing your Mario Party butt mashing mini game. <laughs> Fuck off. I just let her have that. Ooh, that is a big fish. And we are gonna, we're gonna go for it. Come on, you bastard. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom. I don't know if I caught him already. I don't think I have. No, I had. I would caught him already. We'll check with uh, Blathers to see if I've donated him, though. Because I don't know if I have. I feel like if I did catch him, I definitely would have donated him. Because why would I let that slide? Because snakeheads aren't the, aren't the most common of fish in this game. I only have two fossils. I gotta find the other... At least another one. I gotta play 2K Fallout before I do anything today. Oh, the NBA draft was awesome yesterday. Did you guys watch it? Probably not. <laughs> Let me know if you did. How do you feel about 
I don't know, Minnesota taking Towns, number one. Everybody knew that was going to happen. How do you guys feel about the Lakers taking D'Angelo Russell, number two? That was stupid. You already have Jordan Clarkson. Why the fuck would you take D'Angelo Russell? I mean, I understand that he has the best potential to be a superstar in the draft, but he also has the best bust potential. If you guys don't know what bust potential means, it uh, it's essentially a guy that everyone thinks is going to be good, but then he gets in the league and he's a piece of shit, i.e. Kwame Brown, i.e. Darko Milicic. Oh god, I, I was watching uh, the 2002 NBA draft yesterday, or 2003, my bad, uh, NBA draft yesterday, and uh, I just, I can't help but think what the Detroit Pistons would have been had they not picked Darko Milicic. They were a 50 plus win team with the second overall pick, which never happens, ever. Like, I mean, I'm sure Memphis was kicking their ass that they traded that pick years ago. Uh, but I just, I can't even imagine what Detroit would have been had they picked like Dwayne Wade or Carmelo or Chris Bosh, anybody. All right, but that is enough basketball for today, and that is enough Animal Crossing because I want to go play basketball now. Uh, so I'm Good Old Fashioned Gola, and I will meet you guys back here tomorrow Saturday. I'll probably meet you guys back here tomorrow or uh, Sunday, I think. Yeah, Sunday sounds good. Uh, turn up day and all that shit. All right, so I will meet you guys back there on Sunday.